You know, I wonder what would happen if I ate all this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it won't stop. Oh, what's happening? I just want to eat. What? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's going on guys? Oddman MC back at you with another episode of Today in Minecraft and today we're going to look at the different foods that you can find in the game. Foods in the game can range anywhere from poor to supernatural, and they have a different range of items that you can get, such as carrots, potatoes, even steak, and enchanted apples. So we're going to take a look at those right now. Up first, we have the foods that fall into the poor category with only a saturation level of 0.2, which means they have the lowest saturation in the game. And by that, I mean how many hunger bars that will fill up down below. So normally down below my... Uh, little bar down here my toolbar there will be hearts for my health and hunger for of course my hunger and the saturation level depends on how high they will fill them up um, I like to think of these kind of like foods in real life if they're high in sugar they're not necessarily great for you they're not really going to give you a whole lot of hunger um, such as cake and cookies and honey and stuff these are really high in sugar but you know not always great for you but we have cake we have cookies we have the new honey bottles from the 1.15 update we have puffer fish and the reason puffer fish are in here is because they do include a low saturation level but they also give you some really nasty status effects such as nausea hunger and poison so if you have them you probably don't want to eat them you can already see my screen is just wobbling all over the place we also have raw cod raw salmon rotten flesh sweet berries and tropical fish. I haven't seen any negative effects from tropical fish, but there might be. I haven't seen any at least. Sweet berries are good. They're easy to get. They're easy to mass produce. And you don't really want to eat rotten flesh because, you know, the name tells you it's rotten. And then raw fish is okay. Um, I haven't seen any negative side effects. And I've been eating it in the game a couple times. Moving on, we do have the low category, which means they only have a saturation of 0.6. A little bit better than poor at 0.2, but still, you know, not great. They're awesome if you have them on hand and you really in, are in a pinch, but you don't really need them. So in this one, we have apples, chorus fruit, dried kelp, melon slice, poisonous potato, potato, pumpkin pie, raw beef, raw chicken, raw mutton, raw pork chop, and raw rabbit. My favorite thing about this chorus fruit is the fact that it gives you a little teleportation effect and it just moves you from a different spot. It's completely random. You never know where it's going to put you. This is a great for mini games and such like that, but probably not a great source of food. Apples are a great source of early game food because you can find them in trees by just punching leaves or even just taking them down taking down the tree and letting the leaves despawn naturally, or you can even find them in villages in different chests such as this blacksmith. You can find chorus fruit in the end once you get to that point in the game. Dried kelp is found by taking regular kelp from the sea and putting it through a furnace. Melons are found kind of all over the place. You can mainly find them in the jungle. Poisonous potatoes you tend to get just from uh, harvesting regular potatoes which can also be found in the village and then the rest of these you can get from just killing animals such as cows chickens lambs pigs and rabbits next up we have the normal category which has a saturation level of 1.2 so quite a bit better than poor a little bit better than low this is usually what I try to aim for when I'm starting out in a new world because it has baked potatoes which you get from harvesting regular potatoes and putting them through the furnace beetroot soup a beetroot which actually I didn't even know you could eat those. I thought you just used them to uh, get pigs into stables and stuff and lead pigs away. Bread. This is probably one of my favorites because you're, it's easy to start out with. We're going to talk about my favorites at the end, but that I, I do like bread a lot. Carrots, which you can also find in villages. Cooked chicken. Cooked cod, which you get from fishing. Um, and then putting the fish through a furnace. Cooked rabbit and mushroom stew. Again, if you guys want a tutorial on how to craft some of these items, please let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to make it. The next category is good with 1.6 in saturation. Really good. This is typically what you'll see people using most of the time. We have cooked mutton, cooked pork chop, cooked salmon, even spider eye, and steak. Now, spider eye does give a really good saturation, but it does give you 
the poison effect. So you probably don't want to go eating your supply of uh, spider eyes. You might want to just save those for potions. And the last one of the five different categories that we're going to talk about today is our supernatural, which is 2.4 in saturation, which is probably the best you can get. Um, enchanted golden apples, a golden apple, and golden carrots. This is a great uh, source of food. You can get a lot of carrots from farmers and such like that, and it really helps you get really high saturation. So if you're able to get golden carrots, I would definitely do that. Most of the time when you're going to need food, you're going to want to find some mobs to take out. So pigs, cows, and sheep are all very good. And the plus side with cows is that you get leather from them, so you can make leather armor really early. And with sheep, they give you wool so you can make your bed. So there's some bonuses to that as well. And don't forget the trusty village because the farming villager is a great person to have in your corner. You can trade with him to get emeralds and eventually you can also trade with him to get other types of food. You can also set up automatic farms with these guys and they will literally farm everything for you. They're great to have. Also don't forget that exploring villages is a really good way to get food early game. Again you can find apples, you can find bread, you can find all different types of things in a village so finding a village right off the bat is a great source of food. I highly recommend you find one and maybe just make your home in a village. And now I want to show you guys my favorite foods. Now first up is steak. Steak is really easy to get as soon as you get a cow farm. I highly recommend making one. It has the highest saturation I believe of the normal foods uh, next to probably the pork chop and the mutton. Next is bread. Bread is really easy to get early game. If you're able to find a village and find the wheat you can make bread and have tons of it right off the bat. I like melons because I get stuck in jungles all the time and I tend to find them and they tend to be a source of survival because I get lost a lot because I don't write down my coordinates and that's just me. But I do like melons a lot. They're a great food to have. And they also melons, when you put them together into a melon block, are great for aesthetically. And then lastly is cake. Now, cake is not great. It's in the poor category, of course. But you can actually put it on the floor and you can decorate someone's base. I've seen people do pranks where they cover their houses in cake. Dang it, rain. Rain's gone. Got my cake wet, but that's okay. It's still delicious. But you can put it down and then you can eat it. And you could probably do this and do a really cool floor design with it. I don't know how you would do that, but the fact that you can place this food on the floor is just fantastic. I love it. All right, guys, that is all the time I have for you today. If you like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more, and always hit that bell so that we know when I'm uploading content. And always remember to be odd and wash your hands. Peace, guys. Thank you.